I'm pretty confident since the specs of the laptop are really high. What did I do wrong? Is the cable not compatible? Is the GPU too weak? Is my laptop fake? Is my life worth living? Hello there, Regil here. It has been two weeks since I started using my Asus Tough A15 laptop, or at China, they call it as Chosen TX2, or even Sky Selection 2. And let me tell you, it is a beast, if you know how to tame it. Who would think that I'll have some problems running apps with a Ryzen 5000 series CPU chip and an NVIDIA RTX 3070? But before we get into those details, I think it's a good time to segue to thank my sponsor, my lovely wife, who approved my application to purchase this gaming laptop. And for you viewers out there, all I need is a like and subscribe. As a normal geek would do, like the king of nerds, Henry, I first updated the software of my laptop started with Windows 10 OS, then tried at first to rely on the ASUS app, my ASUS, to update the laptop's firmware. Then, just to be sure, got NVIDIA GeForce Experience update the graphics card as well. What was weird was, despite of the high laptop specs, my laptop had intermittent freezing issues, where the only fix is to hold the power button and reboot. Keep this problem in mind while I tell you the next steps of what I did. Next step was to remove all the bloatware applications including the Huarong internet security app. Next to that is benchmark test. Started with the Steam VR performance test and got top results for being VR ready. Next is Cinebench to test my CPU and got a really good score, especially on the multi-core test since this is a Ryzen. 3 Mark Time Spy scored me at 8,990. This benchmark is close to a gaming desktop PC and 3,000 points above a 2020 gaming laptop, which is pretty good. After setting up my laptop in a couple of hours, I got my USB-C link cable and connected my Oculus Quest 2 headset, ready to be blown away. I'm pretty confident since the specs of the laptop are really high. What did I do wrong? Is the cable not compatible? Is the GPU too weak? Is my laptop fake? Is my life worth living? I was in denial and launched Oculus Home anyway, and it was unplayable. FPS was like one frame per second. Immediately installed virtual desktop to try launching wirelessly and relieved that it played fine. Although the quality is really garbage. Check my Wi-Fi and confirm I'm using 5 GHz with 800 Mbps data transfer speed. Then I realized my laptop cable is CAT5 and limited to just 100 Mbps, got a CAT6 cable and was able to confirm 1 gigabit per second speed. And from then on, I was able to play PC VR. And some people would be fine by that, but I know some people. Tested my third party cheap link cable and Oculus finds it good with 1.9 gigabit per second transfer speed. So the problem is not really with the cable. I've realized that my laptop may be forcing Oculus to use the onboard Radeon graphics instead of the NVIDIA 3070. Most of the laptops equipped with Ryzen 5000 CPUs are equipped with an internal or onboard Radeon GPU. This is on top of the NVIDIA RTX 3070 that I have on this laptop. Unfortunately, Oculus VR headset products does not support dual GPU as noted on the tickets I've opened with them. And even if you just have a single RTX 3000 series GPU, they also don't support it. They don't support at all the new GPUs yet, despite of it being in the market for several months now. Others simply disable the Radeon graphics in the BIOS, but here's a workaround that worked for me. You need to go to search bar and type graphic settings and then force all Oculus and Steam VR applications found on their folders to use NVIDIA. And there's a lot, but the most important files are Oculus client and OVR server. Also did this to NVIDIA control panel. You can also set it to use the NVIDIA card as a global setting. This step helped me play Oculus and Steam VR with the link cable. However, the warning about your computer being not compatible is still showing in the Oculus app and your headset home, but not in the games. Now remember the intermittent freezing issues of the laptop? Apparently, this is caused by a bug on the default firmware installed in the onboard Radeon graphics, and this was not updated in the My Asus app. You'll need to consider updating the firmware by going to AMD site, downloading this application, 
and that would fix it. However, after upgrading to the latest firmware, Oculus failed to launch by link. After you click on enable link, the headset would just show the three blinking dots, then returns you to Oculus Home with error in your PC that headset was not detected. The fix here was to roll back to an older firmware and not the latest. I can now play using either virtual desktop or the link cable, although it, I can't get rid of the floating warning that I'm not meeting the minimum requirements at my Oculus Home whenever I use the link cable. I just hope that Oculus get their act together and fix these things to make it easy for new PC VR users. I hope this episode helped, and again, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. See you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.